Hey guys, how are you going? This is Billy Eat World, and today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new project I've been working on in Armor 3. And basically what it is, is kind of like my take on a dynamic mission framework. So in other words, basically it's a random mission generator. The whole reason I designed it in the first place is because what I was doing is writing set piece missions that I never really had time to support. And so I figured if I just rolled them all into one, then every time I wrote something new, I could just add it into the framework and support it all together. In a nutshell though, I guess you could say that this mission is kind of similar to Invade Nanex, except that it's designed with small teams in mind. And as you can see from the title of this video, what I've tried to focus on is smaller SOF style direct action missions rather than big, large scale AOs. What that means is that unlike in a lot of the larger dynamic missions, most of the tasks in this one are a lot more specific and you will need to complete each one in a specific way. And not just that, it's also a lot faster paced because each submission only has a 20 minute time limit. Now, just before you get onto the gameplay, I should mention that if you do wanna try this mission out for yourself, it is available on Steam. So basically, if you like what you see, then check out the links in the description below and you should be able to click the button and subscribe and download it for yourself. Just remember though that it is still a work in progress, so if you do find any bugs, then make sure you let me know. And of course, if you've got any questions or suggestions, or you just want to help me out on any future projects, then feel free to add me on Steam. But anyway, guys, I think that just about wraps up this intro. So as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below if you want to see any more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one. Okay, guys, so here we are at the main base and we're about to get started, but just before we do, I thought I'd show you some of the features that I've added into this mission that you may not have seen in uh, any of my previous missions. So as you can see, I've got the command recruit function over here, which is something that I have used before. So you can recruit these guys into your group. But one thing I have added for this mission in particular is uh, an add action um, menu item which allows you to dismiss all your recruits. So just in case you send all of you guys out on a mission and some of them get trapped out there and you've had to respawn at base, you can just uh, click that button and they'll all respawn and you don't have to worry about going to pick them all up. Also, I've added in a bunch of other like little actions here. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, like put in earplugs, uh, turn on IR lasers and teleport group. Uh, but there's also this one I wanna show you this one. This is called uh, explosives interface. And this isn't something that I made. This is something that I got off Armaholic. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head who actually made this script, but I'll put the author in the description below. Basically what it is, is just a really cool like explosives interface. Um, not quite as complicated as say something like Ace, but it's it's pretty good and it allows you to select um, different explosives and you know, uh, set up timers and that sort of thing for it. And, and it just basically makes everything look and feel a lot more realistic. Okay, so the only other thing that I've added in as well is as you can see, here's an officer and, and basically he's got a bunch of different functions there. There's an halo, a halo jump script, uh, which is really cool. Um, there's an arsenal crate there, which is pretty simple if you wanna, you know, grab some more gear. Um, you can respawn the AI helicopters, which I'll show you in just a tick. They're just over there. You can just see them over the top of that H barrier. Uh, and the most important one here is receive orders, which is how you're going to get your missions. Now, when we click that button, what it's actually going to do is randomly generate a mission. And uh, at the moment, I've got about eight little side missions uh, that you can call upon and, uh, you know, complete. Uh, also, the other thing that it'll do is it'll randomly skip the time. So sometimes it'll be in the daytime, sometimes it'll be dusk or at night. And the other thing that it'll do is randomly change the weather. So sometimes it'll be raining, sometimes it'll be foggy, or sometimes it'll be a clear day just like right now. So that's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. Now, the other thing is as well, let me quickly show you this just before we get started. As you can see, I've got a flagpole here that'll allow you to teleport to the southern part of the airfield. Um, and over here is basically just a, a base for... Um, 
for, you know, actual proper unmanned aircraft, just in case you're playing with a bunch of people and, you know, you've got some players that want to actually use proper aircraft instead of having to rely on AI-controlled aircraft. But anyway, that just about wraps it up for the uh, actual mission design. So let's go back up to the north base and uh, we'll get started. So we'll receive orders. As you can see, it fades out and it's currently still more or less about the same sort of time as it was before. So I might just cancel that and re-roll that mission. Because I want to try and show you what it looks like when it's night time or, you know, there we go. So it's a bit foggy at the moment. So as you can see, the dynamic weather started to kick in. And uh, yeah, every time you re-roll that, it's going to be slightly different. Let's see that one more time. There we go. That looks like it's maybe a bit foggy, slightly like maybe, what time is it? It's 16.58, so, you know, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a little bit darker and it's a bit overcast as well. So there you go. Every time you re-roll it, it'll be slightly different. All right, so let's grab some guys. And I should mention as well, the mission we're on at the moment is the Capture the HQ mission. Like I said, there's eight different missions. Um, and sometimes you'll need to... Um, you know, escort NPCs and that sort of stuff. So it's always a good idea, I think, to make sure that you don't select your AI team members before you've rolled the mission. Just make sure you're on the right mission first and uh, and that way you'll know that everyone's going to fit in the helicopter. So there we go. The actual like mission is eight kilometers away, way down there. So we'll definitely want to take a helicopter to that one. And as you can see, it's raining. Pretty cool. So we'll just load up into the helicopter and we'll get started. Now, like I said, these helicopters are controlled by the AI. In fact, they're all handled by Alive. If you've never used Alive before, basically what you need to do is you can either have a look in your action menu and there's an option to talk to the pilot, which will bring up the uh, command tablet. That only works if you're in the helicopter though. If you're outside of the helicopter, you can click the Alive menu button, which is usually, I think, the app menu key. Um, I've got it bound to M, if but you know you can you can pick whatever key you want. Uh, and then once you get to this menu, click on Commander ac Actions, Combat Support, and there you go. You've got the tablet again. So we'll just get out of that and we'll click Talk to Pilot. There's the Ghost Talk, and we want to go all the way down here to here but we don't want to land too close so maybe that's about eight kilometers away so four kilometers is about neo Cori, which means about there is two k's away so probably the end of this airstrip is going to be about maybe a kilometer away so we'll get it to land on the end of the airstrip height low speed fast rules of engagement fire and i'll just take a quick look at the map as well these red areas are where alive has generated uh, its own AI. So if we avoid those areas, um, we probably won't have too much resistance except for at the objective itself. Okay, so we're all good. Let's move out. Now this probably will actually take some time to get down to the insertion point. So what I might do is just cut the video here and I'll see you guys in just a tick. Okay, so we're about 2Ks out and the helicopter's starting to flare now, so we're going to be on the ground very soon. Uh, by the time we've landed, we should be about a kilometre away or thereabouts. And it doesn't look like on the map there's any resistance uh, anywhere in between us and the objective, so we should be pretty good until we get there. So we're almost on the ground now, I think. Okay, so here we are. So I'll just get the guys to get out, disembark and get out.
There we go, exactly one kilometer away. It's always good to measure it out. Make sure you don't go in any further than that. And then all you have to do now is just uh, click Commander Actions, Combat Support again, go to the helicopter and just order it to return to base. And it'll head off and do its own thing. And we can head into the uh, objective. Okay, so we're about 650 meters or so away and I can already start to see some sort of vehicle off in the distance there. Uh, some of the team members are already starting to say that they're ready to fire. Don't want them to actually shoot at anything yet. I'm just going to get four and five, who are the two AT guys, to just come up on this little ridge, ridge here. And hopefully they can target the APC before it starts moving. No, I don't want you to go that far. Come back here. And when they've actually like locked on a target, yeah, see how they're switching to the launcher already? So I'll just get my binoculars out and I'll just use the Titan guy first. So that's the... Okay, so it looks like that's an Afrit. So I'll just get four who's the guy with the PCML to um, hit that one. And then I'll get the guy with the Titan to hit the BTR. And then more or less, now that they're both like locked in, they're ready to go. All I need to do is just click open fire. Hold fire. Whoa, we're still getting shot at. Did we get both of them? Yeah, we did. Okay, pull back. So the guys can pretty much like open fire now. I don't really have a problem with them open firing. Just taking a look. That's definitely the two vehicles down. The HQ's been like more or less like obliterated. So if there was any guys in there, they're more or less dead too. There's a whole squad here. So let's just get the guys to like form up. Return to formation. Fall back. I'm just gonna get my ridge ten out right now. That way I've got a spawn point if I get killed. Heaps of dudes out there, hey. We're about 461 meters away, so I'm just gonna like set zeroing to 400. Can't see any go. Oh, there's dudes. There's heaps of guys there. I think I'm going to get killed if I stand up on this ridge too long. Yeah, we need to sort of like get a bit of a better position a bit closer. Just trying to like use this ridge as cover, but it's not very high. That's the problem. At least we've sort of closed the distance by about, you know, 50 meters by coming over here. Oh, just pretty exposed. That's the problem. These guys just want to, like, sit back and, like, duke it out. I'm just going to try and get in close so I can actually, like, know that my bullets are going to be doing some damage. I don't know if I got that guy. I can't really bipod up here. There's sort of like too much long grass. I can try. Just like crush it down first. Okay, I got that guy. Um, can't really see anyone else. I'm just looking at the tracer. All of our guys have got red tracers, so... Yeah, that guy's dead. Oh, heaps of guys there. Oh, that ammo. Return to formation. Three's got a bit fucked up. Treat yourself. <laughs> I 
Can't even see if that's a guy there. Yeah, he is. There we go. He's dead. What have we got on the map? Still a couple of guys. Some marksmen. Go! I have no idea where that guy is. Looks very clear, but that's because they're all hiding at the moment. We've lost a couple of guys, but we're pretty okay, I think. Fall back. Fall back. Just move in slowly. Cover me. Just going to set my zeroing to 300 because by the time... Oh. That's a sniper too. Still a guy there, apparently. 350 meters out. Can't see it though. We're at that point now where like, I don't think there's any AT guys up. So I'm just going to call the um, extraction bird back in and I'll get him to just like circle the objective. And we'll circle 200. Yeah, that's good. And then that way he'll provide some support before he picks us up. Is that a dude there? Yep. Ah, oh, there we go. Captured the HQ. So there you go. That's more or less how it's done. It's pretty simple. Um, and now all we have to do is just return to base and that will complete the mission. So we'll just head over here to the road and get the um, helicopter to come pick us up from over here. These guys can all go back into a where. There's no more enemies around, I don't think. And this road here looks good. So I'll just get the transport heli to set it down right there. Requesting airlift at the designated court okay, so I can hear the extraction chopper now. Oh, there it is. So it'll just come in to land and pick us up and then we'll head back to base and then that's more or less it. We can start the next mission.